Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. In today's video, I want to have a deep and rich discussion about why karmics are coming for the chosen ones. This is a question that was in the comment box in one of my previous videos. Thank you so much for this question. I really appreciate it. I'm not an authority. I'm giving you my opinion um, and I would like for you to, you know, just join me in this on this journey, on this magical journey and give me your opinion and leave it in the comment box and we can just go ahead and chop it up. So the first thing I want to talk about um, I like to talk in metaphors, so guys, if you are tapped in, you're going to be tapped all the way in. You're going to be like, mm, that's my girl. If you're tapped out, you're going to be like, let me unsubscribe this girl crazy than I ever thought. Or let me turn away. Okay, it's going to be that kind of conversation. I'm letting nerdy Cassandra out tonight. I am a nerd, people. I am a proud nerd, a weird nerd on top of that. Okay, so let's just say that Earth is a hotel okay earth is a hotel that host spirits that want to wear earth suits and come to have um to you know uh, i want to say to, to learn a variety of lessons to participate in a variety of activities to evolve as a soul now i know you might think but why do why do they need to come to Earth? They don't have to come to Earth, right? They, they can go to Jupiter. They can go to Mars. There are other planets I don't know the names of. But Earth is a hotel that has decided, look, I, or we can call it a hotel. We can call it a school that has said, look, I'll host some, um, I'll, you know, I'll be a host for certain beings who want to come to my planet and participate in certain activities so that they can for their own evolution so they can evolve learn lessons and the whole nine i'm down for it now when you decide that you're going to go to the earth hotel or school whichever you prefer you know their rules right yeah <laughs> like you can't come to earth in your jupiter suit or in your Venus suit, cause, or in your Mars suit, right? Uh, you 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 have to come in your Earth suit, you because the Earth suit is aligned with some of the planetary rules, the order. You know, you need to be able to breathe the air, you need to be able to function, to be able to live on the planet for whatever, however your long your lesson is. Are you are you are you still with me, guys? Is this are you following me? Okay. So now, <clears throat> there are certain people who have signed up to be moderators. Moderators, or we can call them the, um, the what, do you, what was it in high school? Because I, I skipped all the way through high school, guys. So, you know, I'm not really, big, what were they called? Oh, the hall monitors. Or like if you ask somebody to moderate your channel and they, you know, make sure that the people who are spamming or who are leaving negative, negative comments are kicked out. So I'm going to say that the chosen ones are the ones who have signed up to assist the planet in maintaining order. That's how I look at it. All right, you're here. We've signed up or, you know, you signed up, whoever signed up. <laughs> To say, you know what, well, yeah, you know what, um, you tell your spiritual team, sure, I'll be a moderator. Sure, I'll help maintain the order for planet Earth and what is needed for everybody to be able to use this particular planet or this as a hotel or a school for certain life experiences that could only be had on this planet because it's not Venus, it's not Mars, it's not Neptune, it's not Jupiter. You with me, right? You don't go to the workout for a basketball game in your football outfit or your soccer outfit. You understand what I'm saying? So now the reason the earth suit is very, very important in terms of the rules. Like, you know, when you work at McDonald's, they don't want you coming in your Popeye's uniform. <laughs> right? They don't. They want you coming in the right uniform because... There's just a certain image, there's certain rules. And you might say, well, I don't want to come to McDonald's in their uniform. I want to wear my Popeye's uniform because I enjoyed it. Or I don't want to wear a uniform at all. 
and they're gonna say well we you know we it's just it brings order it helps us identify who you are you know from the customers or whatever you know like whatever it's important because it provides a certain order now even though the earth school I like to call it an earth hotel darling maybe school but whatever it doesn't matter it has rules it, it has rules and it doesn't just host humans it hosts you know a variety of other life forms and beings and if some people or some beings break the rules they may make it difficult for other life forms to be able to coexist so we see a lot of animals now now I do believe extinction this is this is all my opinion guys you can roast me you can do whatever you want in the comment let's be just be respectful okay um you know so I feel that extinction extinction is a natural part of evolution because maybe you know the universe said you know I got a better way to make those ears yeah you know what next time yeah <laughs> I'm gonna like when I make the next batch I'm gonna do it a different way so but I think the problem is when something is um, is what's the word I want to look at expiring prior to you know pre you know prematurely when something is ex if the planet is expiring i don't think the planet is going to expire it's going to the host that is going to kick us off the hotel okay <laughs> that's what i think but um i'm just saying that i think that sometimes or like you know when a person gets a disease and you know they're like a kid is sick with you know a, a cancer or something we don't just say oh that's just the way it is no we say this let's see what we can do to stop this person from leaving the earth suit early right you understand so what I'm trying to say is there are rules and there is order and when we violate that we create we create damage to the hotel that can be that can make it difficult for other life forms and even for us to survive so now you may say so like well let me just say this the reason we need an earth suit in the first place is because prior this is just my opinion i just think prior to coming to the planet that we are energy we are you know when i say energy like spirits right and we're with our earth we are with our spirit team our spiritual team and we are trying to say some things we want to work on like i want to work on dealing with my jealousy issues or i want to know what it's like to you know i was a i was a slave master in a previous lifetime this time i want to come back as a slave it, i just want to you know maybe see what i've done <laughs> yeah see what it's like whatever you're going over this with your spirit team and they're saying okay boy you're gonna need to be in this ge geological location you're gonna need this body type and this kind of family type and I, and I think you know um so you select a particular you know earth suit now prior to the earth suit I feel like let's think of it like gas or air like we're gas air or energy or something like that now as a doll maker I don't you know as a, I make beings right so if I look at this you this might look like cotton to you right or, or fiber field to the average person but to me this is what we're like prior to entering into an earth suit now that's the fiber field it doesn't have any form but I could I made this giraffe you can't see the head y'all because it's all the way to the top of the ceiling um, but I, this I can make you give me this fabric and you give me this fiber field and I can turn it into a trillion different things. You understand? And, and, and when I put it into different, create different things with the same form, I want them to have different experiences. I want them to, because you don't, listen, somebody asked me, how did I feel about I think it was something about people who don't like their earth suits 
if I was an elephant and let's just say I'm looking at the giraffe and I'm thinking oh my god look at that neck look at that look at me look at these old big ears I would enjoy in my big old ears and my and my big trunk and I would just throw that my big butt all around the jungle child because this is who I am in this lifetime I would want to in completely and utterly enjoy being an elephant because in the next lifetime I might choose to be a giraffe whatever but while I'm an elephant we're gonna rock we're gonna rock it all the way out that's just that's just me right because I've chosen because at the end of the day everything is still this it's still we're all still you know it's energy right i've come to have an experience on the earth school if i come as a certain being you know i may be a herbivore uh her, you know i may whatever it is you know like when you um a carnivore i may be a herbivore where you only eat plants because in order for me to survive on the planet and if i'm in a particular earth suit it means there are certain you know, foods I can and cannot eat. There are certain places I can and cannot go. And it's just the way it is because it's an experience that I want to utterly enjoy. When you play board games, you, you, I think most of the time people like the rules. Oh, you can't go five spaces. You can't do this because it's not a game if we can just do whatever we want. If you can just say, well, I want to play Uno with my, um, you know, with my jack cars, or I don't know. Uh, guys, I don't know anything about cars. I don't even know why I use that example. But you know what I'm saying? I, I want to play jacks with my basketball. You know, what I, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm just trying to say there's order to the universe. There's order to the planet. And the chosen ones have signed up to be guardians, hall monitors, or staff that work for the moderators for pl the planet. Now, the karmics are the bad kid who is, or or people, you know, I don't want to say bad, but the sign says no smoking, but they're smoking anyway. And so you go over to them and say, hey, dude, this is just a metaphor for all the other things, you know, whatever you want to look at, think about in terms of the planet. And they say, hey, you know, you're not supposed to smoke because it may hurt other life forms. And, you know, hey. And the karmic says to you, you know, go screw yourself. Because I enjoy smoking. I pay good money to be here. I have a right to be here. I can do whatever I want to do. You don't tell me what to do. And we're like, yeah, but um, I thought we had decided that it wasn't good for and it pretty much we've decided you know what there are so many things that have happened in human history where people who thought they were better than others or, or that they were right there have been there have been you know like what happened with the jewish population what happened with the african americans we just decided look i'm not you know i'm just gonna say no rules what about that no rules we just gonna just forget about rules for now because rules means that i think i'm better than you that i think i'm superior that you know i i just i just we, we just the chosen ones have decided i just want peace love and harmony and i want their you know um everybody to get along i just can't we all just get along and so we just decided to kind of like, well, if you want to smoke, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go back and have my dad's about my business, right? Because I don't want to get into it. Because, you know, you did pay to be at this hotel. You have a right. So we've created this laissez-faire um, environment or attitude where I think everything goes. But that's not the bad thing, though. Because we just kind of, because, you know, the pendulum first swung to, oh, we can't have, we have to have child labor laws. You mean, we can't work kids all day and night. You you know, we've had all of these rules to society to kind of help everybody get along or to, and now we're just on the other side of the pendulum where, well, I'm just going to turn the other way. So, we're afraid of confrontation, we're, we are afraid of being a person who dominates or oppress others because we have witnessed what happened to minorities we have witnessed what 
witness what has happened to um, populations that have been destroyed because somebody had the audacity to think that they were better or they had more power. So we are running away from our power. The chosen ones are running away from, you know, they don't understand that they sometimes they might need to stand up for what is right. You know, they feel like, well, are people not sitting in the back of the bus anymore. You know, everybody kind of free. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to, you know, make my money and get on with my life. <laughs> yeah! Right? <laughs> yeah! So the karmics are just like, hey, this is perfect, right? Because now I can do whatever I want to do and hurt whoever I want to hurt and live free because the the guardians, the hall monitors, the moderators, the chosen ones have decided that they would much rather get along with everybody and just and let people do what they want to do and you know, all of this good stuff. You, you know what I'm saying? So now let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you a little story. I am a person who... I believe, you know, I'm very laissez-faire, live and let live type of girl, right? But the things that really concern me is um, I keep it to myself. I, I'm, I'm watching the hotel, you know, I catch on fire. <laughs> yeah! And I am just like, well, you know, I'm close to retirement. Um... You know, maybe it's somebody else's business. Maybe I shouldn't say anything because if I say something, I may lose my livelihood. People won't like me. People, you understand? So let me tell you why it's so important. Well, I want to tell you a story first. Um, I'll tell you a story. I'll tie it up together, hopefully. So at my job, I wanted to be on a hiring committee and I was not allowed. And so I, I, I asked my my dean at the time, why, you know, what's wrong with me? I've been here, you know, all this, like, what, 10 years? And I've never been on a hiring committee. Like, you know, is, is it, you know, because, you know what I mean? Like, she, and I'm like, why, you know, why can't I participate in um, the hiring process for the, a new person to our department? So the dean told me something that like blew my wig back all the way back. She said, uh, Cassandra, close the door. She said, she said, do you really want to know? And I was like, y yeah, of course I want to know. I'm thinking it's going to be something, you know, just, you know, not what I expect. She said, close the door, close the door. I closed the door. And she said, Cassandra, you are, a, you have been a minion. Like this, I was like, man, I didn't even know what minion meant at the time. I mean, the minions weren't out yet. <laughs> yeah. She said, you don't speak up for yourself. You, you know, whatever somebody want to do, whatever classes, you don't, you never fight for yourself. If you don't, some people would like say, oh, I don't want to teach in a classroom with no windows. You, you will take anything, any class, any shift. Or not shift, but you know, classes. You don't stand up for yourself, and uh, and we've noticed that about you, and we don't like it. And we're afraid that if we select you to be on a committee, that you're not going to give us your honest opinion. You're going to and let somebody somebody else is going to have two votes because you are so busy trying to be a people pleaser and to be liked that you're not, go we, we can't trust you. Can you imagine hearing that? That was, okay. Do you understand what I'm saying now about the chosen ones or the guardians or the hall monitors or the people who want to be so nice and so kind and so sweet, how you are not in your full power. <laughs> you can't even be trusted if you are not standing up for what is right, for what you believe to be is correct you know for, for what you believe to be the right thing to do and be right so now this is kind of like a rant video in a way because there are some things I've been wanting to say okay so the chosen ones are busy trying to be liked I'm not saying I'm a chosen one I'm I, I'm just gonna say that 
this is an example of how when you are not standing in your power child you are not of benefit to the planet and so therefore the karmics as you call them are coming for us they're not coming for us we have we have put our head down to the dust we have looked away when something is going wrong because we we just want harmony we just want peace we want everybody to get along and we don't understand we're like well Harriet Tubman you know it, it's not like back in the day we, it's not like we gotta like pfft, you know get people out the concentration camps it's all like we'll just go let everybody just do it and I'm not gonna speak out on here are some things so you know how the internet is always buzzing with, oh, we're going to expose this celebrity and that celebrity. And it's always something about them sleeping with the same sex as if that is some really profound and horrible. L listen, so when they say we're going to expose such and such or this person is wearing a dress or this person is involved in um, same, same, um, same sex activities right my mind is always thinking how please please tell me how that's entertaining if they were like involved with a giraffe or a hippopotamus that you know that would be interesting entertain me you know what I'm saying like I would be like oh my god that's I would be concerned whether or not the hippopotamus was able to give permission Anything that happens between consenting adults is none of our business. I don't want, I, I, I'm sorry guys, I don't understand why that is important. I don't understand why who somebody decide to be with intimately is our business. I just, I'm just wondering, like, unless it's an underage child or, or if it's not consensual. It's, if it's consensual, I don't understand how it's being exposed. I don't understand how it's a big deal. I don't, I, I, I'm, I, maybe I'm just naive. Anything that's consensual between adults, I don't care about. If you want to entertain me, tell me about somebody who you decided like, no, we're gonna, I want to go over there with that hippopotamus or that giraffe or that, you know what I'm like, you know what I mean? Not even like the, the farm animals, because I hear that's kind of boring now. I'm just, guys, I'm just joking. This is just a dark side of my personality. I'm, I'm joking. I, what I am saying is this. Now, what is important to me is why are we asking questions about why is it difficult for so many people to conceive today? And they have to go and th to get shots and do all of these things to 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 have a, a baby why are we looking at that you know why because our water supply has been oversaturated with hormones and it is changing the very structure of the be the beings on the planet there are certain like frogs and other i think they're called amphibians who would no longer even give birth to to, to males the females reproduce themselves there are so many other beings and I mean like life forms on this planet has been affected by you know because we we can only clean the water supply to a certain degree so we're buying water water used to be free right remember back in the day back in the day when water was free why are we questioning why, why am I buying water because our water supply has been oversaturated with hormones and medicine and drugs We're, we don't we don't seem to care about that but we care about if TD Jakes was is uh, being intimate with another guy I'm gonna tell you something I love TD Jakes there have been some moments in my life where it was just me TD Jakes my 72 angels of magic okay and my demon book and I we got me through some stuff I don't care as long as it's consensual when I say as long as it's consensual I don't want to know nothing about what other people are doing in the bed in their bedroom activities I care about the water supply I care about so many children who are being born with um, exceptionalities you know there's research to shows you know how like so many people now are um, unhappy with their earth suit like oh my god I don't want to be 
a female anymore. I don't want to be a guy anymore. But do you know it's medical? Do you know that we have found that somewhere in the parietal lobe on the top, right here in the parietal lobe, that the structure of the brain has been, um, the neurons, the way they're connecting is different that because of cortisol levels in the mom and stress from the environment. Did you guys know this? Like we're not, we're not asking or standing up for what is important. We're not looking at medical technology. We're not, we're not saying why are, you know, why are kids born with, you know, these ADHD or, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, why is this happening? Because of what we're doing? What's happening to our food? Little girls are developing at an earlier rate because of the hormones and the antibiotics that we're putting into our meat and our milk. We we much rather talk about who Will Smith is sleeping with. You understand what I'm saying, guys? So I feel like the so you know, the chosen ones who have signed up to help the mother, you know, help the planet mother earth um hotel or school <laughs> whichever you want to call it to maintain order we are just like look dude i'm just hey i can't wait for, <laughs> i can't wait for my shift to end because i'm audi magadi right i'm i'm just i'm you know i'm gonna go home there's gonna be peace love and light <laughs> and i'm just gonna get on with my life so this is the thing that i want to leave you with now y'all know and with people don't know you don't know me you don't know me um i am a person who is very concerned about overstepping my boundaries you know i want people to like me uh, before i walk into a classroom i like to like saturate it with like pink light like this and love like i gotta oh i gotta i want to pray for my students i want my students to like me i want them to love me right and and I've always been a person who just want to not well, do the right thing, but also but doing the right thing means I have to be a toxic, positive person. Now I say toxic, positive because when you when you know when you have a negative thought, you just like no, I want to be a good person. I don't want to think this person is bad. I want to you know no love. Um, let me just, um, let me arm it away, right? Instead of me being a realist and me being honest and me speaking out. That's just, you know. So, anyway, I had this dream. Well, well first, I was asked to do something and I didn't want to do it, right? But I decided, well, no, I just, you know, I want everybody to like me, of course. So, I'm just going to do it, right? And I, I did, I broke my right hand. But before I broke my right hand, I had a dream about a lion was biting me on my neck. And and I could feel like his mane. I could smell his breath. I could see his fangs. You know what I'm saying? It was right here, guys. And I remember it was it was a that dream was so real. And I just offered him my neck. I was like, I'm earth is daunting I, I really don't want to do this i'm tired I, you know i remember just thinking i didn't even try to fight the lion i was just like just here take it take me but you know what the lion did the lion was nudging me he was saying he's he was saying wake up like he was nudging me like literally in my bed pushing like just nudging me and i was just like no i don't know wake up this is not who you are this is not who you are I just started bawling okay now for those of you who are still here this is the crazy thing so there is a planet um, I think it's called they're called I, I can't remember I don't want to get the name wrong but it's where like lion people come from and it's 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 they are part of my soul family like all my life I've ha I've had lions in my house when I was a little girl I had a big white lion that was over my bed I'm sorry about that 
and um, if you walk in my house now, you're going to see a big lion. Oops. I love lions. I've always loved lions. I've had an affinity. But I did um, some type of meditation with my Akashic record and where you can go in and you can turn a page. And I actually visited my lion family. Like, and they were, I don't know, there was this video where I have like this big, like golden colored like hair and it was so funny how the hair turned out that way it was weird long story short i i did this akashic meditation and it was just they you know oh i'm sorry about that they told me that i needed to really work on standing up for myself and that i was afraid of you know i was afraid of up uh, that i of I don't want to say my shadow self or my strengths. I'm not really sure of the right word to use, but they told me that I, I couldn't be effective if I was not willing to use the power within me to do what I thought was right. And they told me to start meditating more. And it, I know this is crazy, but these were like these lion beings, okay, that I would, when I visited them, I t t shifted and to a lion myself, they are, you know. Um, but anyway, I started meditating. And when I started meditating, my kids said, I turned mean. They said, Ma, when you meditate, you are super mean. Like you, you know, like your whole personality changed. You become more assertive. You tell us no. You want the house clean. <laughs> they say you just, you just, meditation is not good. For, even my mother said, Sandy, meditation is not good for you because you just beside yourself. Because I was kind of like, you know, setting boundaries. I'm going to tell you what I learned, guys. God isn't lying. God is not a punk. God is not a pushover. And God is not a pussy. He isn't, or she. She is not. <laughs> My granddaughter, um, she only refers to God as, as, a, as a woman. And it really irritates my son so much. He hates it because when people say, "God," you know, refer to God as a man or something. My 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 granddaughter says, "God is a woman." <laughs> I'm like, okay, because her grand, you know, she's because with her early years, she was um, we kept her. Okay, but anyway, long story short is when I meditate and when I'm uh, when I'm grounded. I become stronger. Karmics are not common for chosen people. Chosen people are turning a blind eye to what they need to do to be the best and greatest version of themselves. Because if we, or whoever, I don't want to say we because I don't know what I am. If you are standing in your truth, if you are being the greatest and grandest version of yourself, if you are, you know, holding it down, not taking no smack, doing what you think is right, saying the right things, speaking up for, um, about issues that you think are important, you know what I'm saying? Then the karmics, they would still be here, but they're not coming for us. We are just not standing up to do what we're supposed to be doing if that makes sense so anyway that is my perception of what is happening um again you know just the last thing is i i tell my students that about goldilocks goldilocks is a burglar a thief why are we pretending that it was okay for her to break into the little bear's house right try out their food eat, you know like <laughs> and they were like, oh my gosh, Cassandra is a saint. But I mean, if we was, is, is, is Goldilocks a, a, a karmic? I don't know. But the rules and the order that is needed for planet Earth to remain a safe place or not remain or, or try to evolve to host beings to have these um experiences to grow and evolve i i think that the moderators are just turning their back so they can go home and and meditate and just you know have harmony and peace not realizing 
that for there to be harmony and peace, there has to be order. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darlings, in the next video.